Hey everyone, Silvar here again with another Iron Man challenge episode. So let's just jump straight into it. In the last episode, uh, we just hit level 10 and we got a couple more quests out here in Mulgore to finish up and then hopefully we'll be able to go out and do uh, some new uh, zones. But uh, yep, level 10, we got Mortal Strike, we got uh, our, our spec now. Um, like I said, we're just going to be sticking with arms. Um, don't want to do anything too complicated just yet. Uh, so we'll see how how things start to impact us moving forward and as far as damage that we take we might switch over to prot oh, no, no, Green nice something to vendor because we can't be using oh Haven't collected this appearance though. I might just equip it just for the appearance and then quickly sell it because I don't feel like using it Don't want to break the rules that would be pointless. It'd be a waste of time to be even doing this series But yep yeah. Just gonna crush some quests. I'll, I'll probably try and make this episode real quick, real short. Uh, and maybe cut out some a good chunk of it. So we uh, don't get too bored with this low level stuff. One quest done and we'll have to keep killing wolves apparently to get the rest of them. So I only got, here, here's one I'm gonna try and kill him real quick and hopefully get the item, the uh, tooth from him. And then I'll just need one more. Oh. Look at that, two shot that mob, super easy. And again, like, if I was wearing heirlooms, I'd, I'd be literally one-shotting every single mob, I, I feel like. But even with whites, <laughs> you're still destroying things at such a low level. Um, so, it, again, sorry if the episodes aren't super exciting right now. I mean, this beginning area is just super face roll. I think in the future, if I do this series again, which I, I think I will, I don't know how... Depending on how this one goes, um, I'll probably do another one in the future, and maybe, I, I don't know what class I'll pick, but regardless, I'll, I'll probably just level a character up to 20 or something in my free time, and then start the series there, just to cut out a lot of the boring opening zone downtime. Um, but yeah, because I know this can be kind of tedious. There's not really a threat that I'm going to die anytime soon. Planet Nine is up in here. All right, let's. I'm gonna pull five of them, or try to at least. Get another one. Come here. Must pull more mobs. All right, I'm actually starting to get chunked here. Oh boy. Oh boy. Oh no. <laughs> Let me. Oh. Oh! <laughs> Holy crap, I took way more damage than I thought, actually. Oh my god, I almost lost it all right there. Oh my god, 14 health? Leave me alone. Holy crap. <laughs> I would have been so mad if I died. <laughs> 14 HP. Oh my god, that was like 2% of my health or something. Alright, 5 mobs is too many. I sh if I had finished one off, I could have like victory rushed and probably healed up a bit. But I just couldn't get the killing blow on one of them and I was so panicky from tab targeting. <laughs> oh man. Alright. See, that's how you make it exciting, I guess, at these low levels. Alright, from now on I'm going to try and pull at least two or three mobs at a time, I think. That'll keep things a little bit fresh. It'll speed up the process a little bit, hopefully. Yeah, two mobs isn't bad, but I had like five, I think, on me right there. And that was a... Uh... Thank God for War Stomp, I'll put it that way. I think that's probably what saved me. Oh. Near-death experience. That's it. That's all I had to do is talk to that guy. All right, let's kill some guys on the way out. Get that extra experience. Let's see if I can pull more again. See, if I get victory rush, I think I'll be fine. Yeah, it heals so much. 
Yeah. As long see, I would have been fine if I just got my victory rush there. Oh boy. That was panic galore. That would have been really embarrassing to lose <laughs> once I got to level ten. Oh man. I'm probably just gonna avoid the auction house just to be safe. And I'll buy everything from the vendors in game. Cause I know there's a lot of vendors that sell crappy like white items and bags and stuff. And you know, it's all every time I saw those vendors, like whenever I played this game over the uh, last decade, it was like, why are these in the game? Like, no one needs these gray items from these guys. And luckily, people came up with this challenge and found a, a use really um, for those vendors. I mean, the gear kind of looks. I mean, it's a, you can get like a set from them kind of thing, and it, and it all matches and looks cool. I mean, I don't know if that's the only use in the past or it was just for noobs to drop money on those items by accident but it, at least now with this Iron Man challenge since you can only use the white and gray items they have a use those vendors that sell like level 40 white items that are complete garbage and sell for like a gold or something each they actually have a use whereas before it's just if you bought it by accident you were an idiot <laughs> alright last harpy and we'll go turn this in Alright, so I at least know that I can die if I get too reckless. Um, so I'll have to try and avoid that in the future. See, like these items. This is what, oh man, look at that. 120% upgrade. I'm just going to go ahead and buy that. Like, why not? Right? Alright, let's go ahead and vendor all this crap. <clears throat> oh, wait, I wanted that. Just in case I use the shield for some reason. But by then I'll probably have a new item or a new weapon anyway. So let's see, 2.78, 3.06. 3.06, I'm gonna go with that one. New weapon. Now I'm really gonna be smashing hey. mobs. Cool, good stuff. Alright, let's turn in these quests. I'll have to vendor these in a second. Well, yeah. That's good amount of experience. Use the totem at the water well. Okay, that's not too far, so I'll run out there and do that. And I did ding actually right there, nice. So leveling on up, 45 silver. Um, let's see, I'm nine levels away from being able to buy mounts. So I need to <laughs> find a way to get that gold. Um, I think the more and more green items that I get, those vendor for a good chunk. So I'll definitely be able to loot up that way and get gold that way and if I'm like without a mount for a level or two that it's fine I, I, I can run I can handle it boom got the achievement to explore Mul Mulgor nice so pretty looking this actually was one of my favorite I, I don't know if it was like one of my okay it, yeah it was one of my favorite starting zones back in the day just because it's I don't know, nice and lush and rolling hills and stuff and leveling my druid out here was fun you wouldn't have seen argus though back in the day but uh yeah it was definitely a, a really fun zone i i kind of got tired of leveling in the undead zone a whole bunch i i've did that countless times um so that one kind of just got boring and repetitive after a while um the night elf zone the night elf zone i really really liked um the only problem was after you completed like the whole leveling area, it was kind of annoying to figure out where to go next. Especially as like a young kid when I first played this, like, yeah, I'd find the teleporter thing and come out here to to Dark Shore, but then it's like all the Alliance stuff is way out in Eastern Kingdoms all along here, and I I wasn't too sure how to get there and stuff, and and it, it was a good zone though to begin in. Oh, 50 quests completed, and we explored Mulgore in one episode. Look at that achievement hunter up in here all right now we gotta go to thunder bluff and talk to some guy oh yes and now look at this we can go to a new zone now Woohoo! and i can join wars on gulch and stuff yeah Ooh, we can go to ghost lands no, i'm not gonna bother that maybe if i do make another character again i'll i'll level a horde again just so i you know can avoid having the the incentive to send gold or whatever <laughs> from my alliance characters um and i can maybe level a blood elf i haven't done that since probably burning crusade um so yeah that'd be a fun one to go out there and explore uh ghost lands and stuff again i don't know if they changed that at all actually for kata 
I don't think they touched it. Let me... Oh, I won't be able to see it straight up, but... Uh, I, I mean, if I could see the map, maybe I'd be able to tell. But I don't think they actually changed anything, really, for... Like, the ghost lands in the Blood Elf starting area. Alright. Bane. High Chieftain of the Torin. Hello, Bane. For the Horde. Defeat him. Defeat Orno, Grim, Grim Totem. I almost said Grimstone. At Stone Talon Pass. Oh, I get a bag too. Has come. So I, I gotta go up here ready. and kill him. Let me fly. I'm gonna fly out real quick to the Bloodhoof Village and turn in that dog quest just so I don't forget about it. And I also want to see if I do have flight paths to anywhere out in the Barrens because I don't know if I can get through this gate thing. I mean, it has to be, right? It has to let you through it. Unless I'm just an idiot and I'm missing somewhere on here. But maybe the cave... No, I, I don't think you can go out the cave that way. Tell me I hate you. Okay, so I can fly to... Uh, I could at least fly, fly to Ogmar. Um, but I think I'm going to run. I'd rather not fly to Ogremar and then run down that way. I want to come from at least from Mulgore and see if I can figure it out. But yeah, till then, let me... Oh wait, let me fly to actually the... I almost forgot to do this. Fly to Bloodhoof Village, turn in that quest, and then come back and kill uh, Orno. And then I think we'll be done with this area, so we can go out to the Barrens. Woohoo! Alright, Orno. I'm coming for you, man, wherever you are. Time to fight. No one else killed him. Why is there a level 57 mage here? Alright, so Orno should be in this area. He might be dead already. I might have to wait for him to respawn. Because I did see like that guy rolling around. Let me just run up here and see if he's not up here. Because that would be bad if I just sat down there waiting to kill him. Let me uh, help kill this guy. Alright, nothing. Oh wait, Orno's back up. There he is. I don't know where this path leads. Can I go into the next zone? From, oh, wait. Stone Talon Pass? Oh, my God. Can I? Oh, God. This guy's an elite. Holy crap. He has a lot of health. Can I? Can I actually do this? Oh, God. I'm gonna find out. Oh, wow. He actually doesn't hit hard. I didn't even have to actually like, kill him. Oh, that was dumb. So have I. Grim. Oh shit. I'll save you. It took a coward's foot and the fury of Hell's Creek to bring Kinda weird how they have what chance have you voice comes for uh Bane, but not for this Orno dude. It is for you. Nice. The fate of Azeroth rests in your hand. There is much we can learn from the High Mountain tribes. Alright, back to Thunder Bluff. <laughs> Let me uh, kill this guy on the way. Speed up the process. So that was much easier than I thought when I was faced with a freaking uh, elite mob that had almost, what, uh, was it a thousand health or fourteen? I can't remember how much. I was a little uh, scared about that. But I only had to do like 400 damage to him and then trigger the little event. So, whew, that was a little terrifying. We must unite if we are to survive. Right. Turn in this quest and get. Man, I wish I could use that. That's a nice upgrade. <laughs> All right, so I gotta go to Ogremar. Earth Mother. Wait, there's a over. zeppelin next. It said take the flight path or wait for the zeppelin. What? You may speak to all the Windrider men travel there or wait for the Zeppelin. Where is there a Zeppelin in Thunder Bluff? Is there one? Is that new? That's definitely a new thing if there actually is one. I, I feel like there's not. Okay, so, oh, cool. I got a bag and automatically equips it. That's good to know. All right, let's go ahead and sell this. So I guess, according to the, I, I was rereading this, I need to travel from Duratar to the Northern Barrens. So it's telling me to come down this way and go over. So 
I'm guessing I can't actually go out through this whole great gate part, and I really wouldn't want to because this zone is 30 to 35, so I'll get one shot by anything around there, and that would be just terrible. <laughs> I would hate to lose and have the series over because of that. So the whole goal here, I guess, is flying out to Ogremar, and from there, I'll turn in the quest, this one, and then we can start traveling down to the uh, northern uh, oh, Baron's part. Oh wait, send me to Ogremar. All right, a brand new Ogremar. It's very different compared to vanilla if you're used to that. <laughs> and there's like four, I think, different, yep, there's two zeppelins that land here and two that land there. I forgot that one went to Thunder Bluff. That's so weird to me. All right, let's see, you got Dark Moon Fair quests around here. I'm not gonna even bother touching those. Is that, yep, Battle Pet, not gonna bother with that. So I need to get down here and talk to the guy inside this building. Oh God, I almost jumped. That would have been potentially dangerous. And potentially very stupid. And I'm so nervous about getting near these elevators. <laughs> like, in a, on a normal character, it wouldn't matter if you fell and died, but. Oh, God. I would be so salty if that's how I ended the series, because I fell down, like, an elevator shaft or something. Or it glitched out and I, like, fell into it, like, through the platform itself. Alright. Panic a little bit every time. So here's a cool little uh, board, so you can it'll tell you actually where you should go to next kind of thing. So I could, it says, you know, go to Azara, or it would have had the quest to actually go to Northern Barrens. It's it's basically the suggested content tab, but on like a little board in the major city. Um, so maybe I'll go out to Azara too, because that used to be a like 40-ish zone, level 40-ish. Um, and maybe I'll go out there and see what the quests are like out there also. Let's see. I've been forced out of Mogor. Cool. I'm accepted as one. Oh, sweet. And I hit level 12. Perfect. Great time. Great timing on that because I do want to end the episode actually here now. So now we're here in Ogremar. I'm going to go ahead and run out into the little open area, see where all the people are running around. Nice bust, busting city going down. Love that mount. All right. We made it to Ogremar. Life is good. Going to go ahead and end the episode here. Thanks again for watching, guys. If you like the series, hit that subscribe button and keep up with the other episodes that will be coming out. Uh, like I said, I'm going to be picking this series back up pretty, uh, pretty intensely and be putting out lots of episodes. So I really want to get involved with it and really see how hard it can get, especially at the later levels. So thanks again for watching. Hit that subscribe button if you like the content, and I'll see you next time. Thanks.